Welcome back. Do you think it's possible to design a product fully with AI? Well, I'm going to find out. Today, we're going to look at the concept stage of product design and see if we can come up with a lot of product ideas with AI. Just to review, last time we used AI to come up with some design research, which ChatGPT was nice enough to summarize for us. If you don't want to read that, the highlights are we want to create a garden speaker. It should be user friendly and we want to use recycled materials and make it water resistant. Moving on from there, the next logical step would be to come up with some ideas. Today, I'll try to do this completely using AI. And just a small spoiler, this stuff is crazy. It's funny how none of this stuff was possible like a year or two ago, but here we are. So let's jump into it and continue designing our garden speaker by actually starting to design. Garden speaker. Yeah. So let's get started. Firstly, we're going to look at creating some mood boards. How do you describe mood board? Mood boards are basically a collection of images that help you kind of describe the vibe or feeling you're going for in your product design. For this, I found a really cool tool is our old friend Midjourney. If you want to know how to get started in Midjourney for product design, I actually made a separate video that you can check out. To create mood boards with Midjourney and Discord, you just type in slash imagine, and then the words, a mood board of product designs, and then a bunch of things related to garden speakers. I played around with it for a while and found that it's good to give it some color direction, like natural colors or just green. I also found it helped to input some related products in the space you're designing for. So here I use garden tools and garden lights. Wow. As you can see, you can make some really cool mood boards related to garden products. I really like these arrangements of products that kind of look like they're in a studio that you get. It's also a nice, easy way to see what ideas fit with your vision and what don't. Next, we're gonna look at creating some concept images of possible future products. What's nice here is we can say in mid journey to do this step. In this video, I'll just play around with some text prompts. So we type in slash imagine a garden speaker, and then we can play around with some different prompts with things like color palettes, different materials, and try out different backgrounds. Sick. I really love playing around with this and feel like I can spend hours just screwing around, but for now, we'll just take some highlights. What I also found really cool is you can get ideas already rendered in a garden which you usually don't end up doing till later in the process if you do this the old fashioned way. This is an incredibly powerful way to come up with really high fidelity images of product concepts and quickly ideate and evaluate. Plus it's really easy to do, so there's not really a good reason to not use AI in your workflow these days. Also what I didn't notice till filming this video is that you can even mark an area in mid journey to play with. So you can take an image you like and you can just tweak small parts of it. Look at that, as a little, little speaker with some different controls. What is a little nose? And the results are super high quality, really cool. This one's not really a garden speaker, but come on. It's so funky. I had to put this in there. The next technique we're going to try out is a sketch to image generator. What this is, is you can create a sketch, then throw it into an AI tool, and that will create a render for you. The first sketch to image generator I tried out was Viscom. Viscom has been getting a lot of press on my LinkedIn feed lately for being a sketch to image generator targeted at industrial designers like ya yeah boy. All you have to do is create an account, then you can create a new file. I'm going to do one that's square. And then we can add an image. And I took one of our AI speaker concepts and threw it into some random image to sketch creator on Google. Then we just type in a prompt, a only green speaker for the garden. And then we generate an easy peasy. We have a speaker concept straight from our image. So you can even play around with the drawing influence. Wow. The results are pretty good with Viscom. Viscom works extremely well on products with a ton of geometry, material breaks, and a lot of details like cars and shoes. For minimalists like me, I've had issues getting really good results with simple products. Hopefully this gets a little better in the future. The other AI tool for rendering sketches that I liked is Prome AI. Prome works kind of like Viscom where you can input a sketch and it'll make a rendering in the image based on that sketch. I think Prome also does a lot of other things, but I really only played around with a sketch to render. Look at this. What's wrong with your webpage? That looks better. Okay, maybe my Chrome just crashed. All right, so we upload an image and then we can render, we'll say, a garden speaker again. That's pretty cool. What I also really like about Prome is you have these different kind of styles you can render in for different product types and they'll give you slightly different results. Innovative Italian play. Dude, that's kind of fun. Bauhaus. 
Who doesn't like getting bow house? Yeah, cool. Anyway, overall, it's easy to get a good result and play with some of the preset styles. You know what's really funny? I was actually contacted by Prome a few months ago and asked to promote their product, to which I said, no, thank you. Long story short, I could have made some money promoting this product, but now I'm doing it for free which is why I'm bad at business. The final category of things you can do to create some product images is to train an AI model. Basically what this means is you get an AI tool, a lot of images that are all kind of similar, and then the AI can spit out images similar to the input. The first way I tried doing this is with a web-based client called Leonardo AI. So Leonardo AI is an AI tool with a lot of generation capabilities, but the one I played around with is the training an image model and then generating based on that. Unfortunately though, I wasn't really able to get the results that I expected. The images all looked pretty much nothing like the images I inputted, which were this kind of color pop style. To be fair though, I am a total beginner at this program. So if someone knows what I'm doing wrong, feel free to let me know. Stable Diffusion is also another AI model you can use to train and create new images but that's a bit of a complex topic, so I think I'll leave that for a future video, maybe. So as you can see, we have a few ways to create garden speaker designs, from creating mood boards, to creating some concept images, and then playing around with the details of each of those concepts. It's pretty amazing, the stuff you can create these days, and this is definitely stuff that wasn't possible without being a total expert, even up to a year ago. It's a pretty amaze bees. So back to our main question, can you automate creating product concepts with AI? Out of five, with one being no AI won't steal your job and five being your effed, I'd give it a 3.8. It's so insanely easy to create professional images now. Once you get over the hump of signing up for some of these AI programs, you can start playing around with images almost instantly and play around with ideas a couple magnitudes faster than you could before. However, it's still really hard to control the output. There's still a learning curve in actually creating the prompts, and even if you know what you're doing, you're not really ever sure what you're gonna get. Using AI is kind of like buying gas station sushi. You're never really sure what's gonna come out the other end. For more advanced stuff like training your own AI model, the technical learning curve is even higher. Essentially, it's another skill that you have to learn to get started. Although the potential is quite high. Also, AI doesn't really have a sense of what makes a good product. Although you could say that about a lot of product designers, concepts like user experience, usability, manufacturability, viability, etc., are all left out of the concepting phase. I haven't really seen anything solving as issues in the AI generation space, so for now, I think AI concepts will continue to be a little shallow. But gray, AI will only get better. What's your prediction for the future? My prediction for the future is that AI product concepts will go to a four or four out of five on the AI stealing your job scale. Some of the current issues with AI product concepts have to do with the learning curve, which I think will probably be solved by these programs moving forward. However, I think the issues of the AI not really knowing what makes a good product are a bit harder to solve. And since programs like Midjourney are maxing out on image quality and even get better at product aesthetics, I'm not really sure how much more it'll improve. Maybe you can train an AI model to be better usability, but I don't know. If you know, let me know. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned a little bit more on how to generate and play with AI product concepts. Join me in the next video as I continue to try and fully design a product with AI and see if the robot overlords are better than us at designing. Until then, stay free humans, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.